Liz here today for Crafty Cafe and today I have a Valentine's card to share with you all and I'm going to be using this oddly fantastic stamp set from Avery L along with the love or the scripty love word dies from Lawn Fawn and then I'm also going to be pulling in some dies from Mama Elephant to create my waves. So to begin I've just stamped down my otters and my hearts and things onto some Nina Solo White cardstock and I'm going to colour all of these in with some Copic markers. So I'm going from dark to light as I always colour and I'm first starting off with some of my dark um, E40 markers. I just thought these were the perfect otter colour so that's what I'm going to be using. So I first start off with E47 and then I'm using E44 to blend that out further into my image and then to finish off I'm going to be going in with E43 and just blending that uh, those colours all together and I also did just um, fix up my mistakes there from going outside the lines with a zero marker that sort of just pushed the colour back inside the lines and sort of removed where I made the mistakes. It's not perfect but it definitely looks better than it did. So once I've gone ahead and finished colouring in my otters completely with the E43 marker, I'm just making sure that I get a really nice blend on there. I'm only to colour in their little stomachs. So I've just gone ahead and used now lighter E40s to colour these in. So I've just started off with E42 as my darkest, blending that out with E41 and then blending that all together with E40. Now I'm moving on to colouring in my heart, so I'm using my favourite sort of pinkish combination for this. Um, I'm using R24 to begin and just going in where I think the darkest areas would be on the hearts. Then I'm moving on to R22 and blending out that R24 colour and also adding a little bit of R22 on the noses. Then I'm coming in with my last shade which is R20 and I'm blending out that R22 colour. Now it's time to colour in the water underneath this one otter. So I'm first starting off with B34 and just going directly under the otter. Then I'm coming in with B21 and blending that out. And then to finish off, I'm coming in with B000 to blend all of that together. Then I need to colour one of my fishes. So I'm first starting off with YR18. Then coming in with YR21 to blend that YR18 out. And then I'm coming in with Y21 to blend that all together. Then I'm just going to do a couple of yellow fish. So I'm colouring in first with Y15, then going into Y13 and finishing off with Y11. Then I just added some dots onto the eyes or some dots onto the fish for eyes with a black marker and die cut them out using some uh, coordinating dies. So once they're all cut out, I'm going to work on my background. So now I'm using the Mama Elephant Ocean Waves dies. You can use whatever wave dies you have. These are just the ones that I wanted because of the shape. Um, so I'm just going to place two of them down on the uh, watercolor cardstock, run them through my big shot machine and then repeat that same process two more times to create a four layer sort of wave uh, piece. Then I'm going to color in each of these individual pieces with some Distress Oxide ink. So I'm just first starting off with Salty Ocean and I'm coloring in the first piece, sort of just fading down into white. I don't want the full piece to be blue, I want there to be some gradient. Then for the second piece, I'm using Peacock Feathers and doing the same technique, sort of just fading down into white. I just really like the way that looks. Then for my third layer, I'm going to use some cracked pistachio and again, just doing the same technique, just blending over really lightly on the bottom and going more heavy handed at the top of the piece. And then for my final piece, I am going to be using twisted citron and it might seem really weird to um, add like green into sort of like an ocean um, die piece, but I really wanted there to be a little bit of green on the card and so that's why I sort of moved down to cracked pistachio and then to twisted citron just because I really wanted there to be a nice gradient and I just think it fits in really well. So once I've gone ahead and in ink blended over all of those pieces, I'm just going to go ahead and adhere these to my card base. So I've just cut a card base down out of some white cardstock and I'm just going to line these up as straight as I can and layer them on top of each other, leaving a little white border between each of the pieces. You could butt these up um, like together um, if you like, but I really wanted there to be a white gap in between all the layers. 
So once I've gone ahead and adhered those on with some foam tape, I'm going to adhere on my little critters. So I just use some runner adhesive to adhere all of my pieces on and then use some foam tape for the little fish. Now I'm using the Scripty Love Word dye from Lawn Fawn and I'm just going to quickly ink blend some sponge sugar and some picked raspberry just stress ink onto a piece of watercolour cardstock. I just did this because I felt like the white didn't stand out enough and I really wanted to bring in another pop of pink just because it is a Valentine's Day card so I decided to ink blend some of these colours onto a separate piece of paper. So I'm just blending these two colours together, flicking on some water with my Distress Sprayer tool. Um, I just press down the nozzle, or press down the button, I should say, halfway, um, just to sort of create those bigger and smaller water splotches. I'm going to dry that off with a heat tool and pick up the excess water, also with a paper towel before I dry it with a heat tool. And then I can go ahead and die cut my love word out with my Big Shot machine. So once that has been die cut out, I added some foam tape onto the back, just cutting little tiny strips to fit behind those small um, like pieces of the word. And then I went ahead and adhered that down to my card base. Then to completely finish off this card, I just die cut a little um, black banner using the slanted uh, sentiment strips from My Favourite Things and white heat embossed the You Like No Otter sentiment on there. So the sentiment reads, love you like no otter. I just thought that was super cute um, to mix and match the sentiments and dyes there. Then I just finished off with adhering the last three hearts that I coloured and die cut earlier. So that finishes up my Valentine's card for today. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.